Well, I need to come through sometime as part of a mob of people because I think watching the people come through here must be so interesting to see, you know, especially especially women. See, I come from the Midwest, and 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 we we don't go in for mass hysteria. So we were quiet Elvis fans, you know. Well, it was his it was his home. It was it was uh, the home that he wanted. It wasn't made by somebody else. It was made by by him. It's a very romantic sort of sort of house. He was he was a great crooner, and um, you know he I mean he was, he certainly was a rock and roll singer, but he was carrying on in that romantic uh, tradition of the crooners of the forties and. Mm-hmm. In the 50s, he really combined both of them. This summer we were on tour. I think I did it uh, 27 straight shows. You walk out into the audience, and you and you just start can't help falling in love. And everybody knows the words to the song. You know? The American people know the words to the song as well as they know "Home on the Range" or "American Beautiful." Wise men say, "I'm a fool." And they all say it's the most touching thing to walk through an audience in in the dark and there's a spotlight and you see all these people singing and holding hands. Mm-hmm. Would it be? Would it be a sin?